In today's tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to get some of your data out of Unity and write it to a JSON file. I've previously done a tutorial on how to read in a JSON file, so you might want to do that first if that's something you're also interested in. So to do this, we're going to need a few things. I'm just going to create a canvas. And this canvas is not something that's needed, but I'm just going to put a button on it so that I have something to click when I want to write to the file. I'm just going to put a plain button on it. I'm just going to turn this canvas to screen space camera because that's the camera I where I prefer to do UIs. I'm just going to make that button nice and big. Now that we have a button that we can use, let's go and make a folder for our scripts. And create the JSON writer script. Let's double click this and open it in Visual Studio. Now we're going to write the result of the JSON to a text file and to do this you need the system.io library so I'm going to add that. The first thing we're going to need is a class that we'll have to hold the data that we're going to write to the JSON file. I'm actually going to use the same class I used in the previous example in case you just wanted to extend that script. You have to make your system serializable for the writer to be able to access everything. Next up, we have to make an instance of this class for us to be able to put the data in. We're just going to put the data in the inspector. We're actually not going to need either the start or the update function, so I'm just going to delete both of these. And I'm going to make a function to output the JSON. And I'm going to make it public so that we can attach it to that button that we created. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a string to put the result of the JSON into. And now we're going to use the JSON utility to JSON to make this work. And so now the result of the JSON will actually appear in this string. So all we have to then do is write this string to a text file. And since we've added the system IO library, the file is a, is a and since we've added the system IO library, we can use file. So file. And we're going to write all of it to a file. We'll use application.datapath, so that means it'll be the assets folder. If you have another folder inside the assets folder you want to put it into, if you have another folder within, inside the assets folder that you want to put it into, you can include it here, but I'm just going to use the name. And I'm going to store it in a text file rather than a JSON file because that's easier for me to open. And now that we've told it where to write it, we've just got to tell it what to write, which is going to be our string output. Remember that you also need a, a slash before it because it's part of a path. So let's save this and give it a go. So I'm just going to make an empty game object with the JSON writer on.
Next up, I'm just going to fill this in with some default values. I'm going to go to my button. I'm going to add and on click. I'll drop the JSON writer into it and it will call the write function. Let's press play. Click our button. Go back out of play mode. Refresh this. And you can see the text files appeared. You can see that it has all of the data in it. If you change the data and rerun this, it'll simply overwrite this. Let's go back to our script and do an array. So to do this, we make another class, which will be an array of the player class. And then we also have to make an instance of this that we can actually use. Then let's copy everything that we've done down in our output JSON and we'll paste it underneath. And all you need to do is we're going to make this our string output too. We'll change this to my player list. And I'm going to call this text too. And remember to change this to string output too. Let's save this and give it a go. By clicking on the JSON writer, you'll see that you've now got your player list. Let's just add three. And now you can see I've populated it with some dummy data. Hit your button. You want to refresh your assets. And now you can see in the text2 file everything that was there has now been saved. So that's simply how you write to a JSON file. You might not want to do it in this exact way. For example, you might want to use the www class to write it to wherever your data storage is. Hope you found this helpful. I'm trying to grow this channel. So I really appreciate any subscribes, likes or comments. It helps me know if the channel's going in the right direction and lets me know that people want to see more videos. Hope you enjoy your game development.